uh, how Bird uh, influenced Train, and then Train took it someplace else. Oh yeah, that 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 picture was uh, from a gig that Jimmy Heath had. That was Jimmy Heath's big band, and he had brought Bird down there, and Train was in the band. That was that was in Philadelphia, and I think in some of the pictures you can actually see Jimmy out in front of the band. Um, uh, I, I don't know. I for, kind of forgot your question. Okay, without Bird, there would be no train, right? <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, without Bird, there would be no train. There would be none of us, really. There wouldn't be any of us. I mean, I mean, he just. I mean, I'm like, I'm like a boomerang. I got two stops: Bird and Prez. You know. And I'm like, whenever I go out, it's like somebody throws me out and I'll go out like a boomerang and I'll hang out and I'll check out Train and Dexter and everybody else and Wayne Shorter. But the boomerang always comes back home, you know, to the bird, you know. <laughs> so that's how I look at it. You know, you you can go out and come back and you're going to come right back to bird. And then right next to him is the Prez, man. Cause those guys are about individuality and... Um, innovation so everything comes from them really and um, you know the story I, I don't uh, people don't really talk about as much as his uh, photographic memory he had a photographic memory and um, Art told me that uh, when he when he left the Eckstein band they brought in Sonny Stitt to play lead out the music in the in the book was still like it had never touched and Bird had memorized the whole book that's the first thing so he had looked at it one time and put the music back. So all the music was still brand new. And so Sonny Stitt pulled out the music and it's still crisp. So Sonny Stitt starts to read the music. And then Dizzy, musical director, you know, with the, uh, with the, uh, uh, I just, anyway. Eckstein. Eckstein, excuse me. He, he, uh, he stops the band and goes, uh, Stitt, you're not reading the part, man. Let's do it again. He plays it. Stick, yeah, you're, you're, uh, I'm not hearing the whole part. You're, you're leaving something out. So Dizzy goes over and, and looks at the music, and he goes, well, I'll be doggone. Bird was adding notes to the parts, and they had gotten used to hearing Bird play the parts. So he had already absorbed the parts and started adding notes, you know. So that's another thing, you know. And another one, with the, I don't want to keep you, but R. Blakey told me this. He said one time after the gig, he's playing with Bird. And him and him and uh, and Dizzy and some some of the cats, they wanted to go out and chase some women, you know, and get into some trouble, you know. And uh, Bird Bird called him over and said, Arthur, Arthur, come here. He go, yes yes Bird what? So where are you going? Oh well, we're gonna go out and we're gonna we're gonna get some women, you know. Said, Arthur you no, know, he brought him up to the hotel room, and Bird had a, a towel around his head and was. On the on the on the bed, playing saxophone, and he had he had Art playing drums on the phone book, you know, and Dizzy there with his mute, and they were in the hotel room. He made him practice and play all night long. And he said, Arthur, the music first, the music first, then everything else will come. So those are stories that are close to me, you know. The bird, you know, was uh, amazing, amazing. Yeah. 